If you want to learn how to trade just like me, join the community, click the private discord link, sign up through this membership level and you will gain access to weekly group mentorship calls for free. Welcome everyone to another Casper update. It has been since Friday since I made my last video, I believe. But what we mentioned in that video is that we needed to pump from this purple box. It's a must. If you remember my Twitter updates as well, I'll briefly go over to another Casper chart. Maybe this will jog your memory if you were here. But if you're new round here, I need to show you this anyway. Now, Casper, a lot of people were holding it on KuCoin. And so if you are, I have to show you this chart because this did truly happen on that exchange, but not on the rest. So we saw a huge dump that actually met all technical targets. Now, even if we did close down there, it's still above the 200 EMA, and that is holding the uptrend. We didn't even close down there, but it would have been fine in doing so. Again, as I explained, this is serving as the bottom of your uptrend. So that's the lowest point of support we are allowed to go to and we would still technically be bullish. But as we never lost this key level of support, we actually closed above it. We closed within it, hold and confirming this as support. So that's why we were saying for over, I think two weeks now we've been saying, uh, that we must pump from this location. Yeah, I remember talking about this back in December over here when we first initially came down into this key level of support. It was actually meant to put in a new low because we're coming up into the 20 moving average and actually closing beneath it. We didn't actually push through it. So the last time we lost the 20 and confirmed it as resistance, we put in a new low lower than the previous. So we're just coming back up into it as resistance, this previous support now resistance, confirming it. So we should put in a new low. We were not given that. And so that's why this key area between the 1272 and the 1414 became so important to us. Guys, make sure you, if you haven't already to support the channel, the, it's free. Like, subscribe, comment and share. We're trying to hit 8K before the end of this month. It's definitely achievable. So if, yeah, please do share the content. Also turn on the notification bell because some of you say, Louis, where's the Casper update? Louis, where's this update? And they already are out. So make sure you don't miss every single uh, one. Now, as you can see from the drawings, we were saying that we must pump from this location. What we were trying to do is actually avoid a bearish cross from happening. So by avoiding it, it means that you're not actually losing the uptrend and that we've just corrected to a key level of support. And uh, we're just essentially consolidating between this area, the 1272 and the 1414 and the one fib level as our resistance. Now, if you remember from this uh, call from all the way down here, I was actually calling for a pump. Now, I was mentioning with uh, during that time that we need to reclaim the one fib level and that would just be a first step because by reclaiming the 20 which is the purple moving average you can see if we hold above it we continue higher and higher and higher and put in new highs that is an uptrend and so this is what we we're trying to do we we're trying to invalidate this downtrend that is what essentially the first step happened over here when we were meant to continue lower but we actually held the low you're not actually getting downtrend continuation when you should do. And so things are not, uh, so the chart is not really really listening to the bearish outlook. And so we're changing uh, what is actually going to happen over here if this is not lost. Now, because it wasn't lost, this is called a double bottom. And then we reclaim the one fib level. And that was just the first step because we must reclaim the 13 cent area, the 0.5 Fibonacci for 25 cent, if you remember from a few weeks ago and on Friday when we talked about Casper. Now, unfortunately, we didn't actually manage to close above that. And with that, you return to the one fib level and a loss of the one fib level means that this is your support again. And if you ever do lose this, then all targets should get met. Very luckily that it was met in one candle and that same candle closed within this level of support, confirming that we've met the target, that is complete, we've reversed and reclaimed such a key level that we're not looking for any further corrections as long as this now holds. We're looking for a reclaim of the one fib level. And then again, guys, we need to take out that 0.5 Fibonacci if we just wanna get out of this area and we will start heading towards 25 cent. Guys, that is it from me today. It's lovely to see that we got a 7% pump where at first we started going down and then before the end of the day, there was a lot of weakness in the bears. The bull stepped in from the 1618 and pushed price above the level of support and actually attacked the one fib level. Now, we didn't actually manage to close above the one fib level, but we did close above the moving averages. And that's very vital if we want to start shifting this trend upwards again. Now, remember, we never got that bearish cross. So that means we're looking for an EMA repel over here. This is what we need to see the move upwards. 
But just like on this attempt, we must now actually confirm it as support. We can see we played around, actually came back down to this and didn't really hold the 55. But now on this breakout, we must confirm the 20 and the 55 as support. And then we're looking for that break of 13 cent, which will allow a pump to 25 cent eventually. That's my next technical target for Casper. And guys, if you on the way out would love, I would love you guys to support the channel, like, subscribe, comment and share. And uh, also if you want to get educated, I do have a course discord community where we do two weekly group calls on tuesdays and thursdays so there will be one later on today i've also got an ebook in place if you want to learn my exact strategy in a written format i've got a course that's six hours long of videos and then i've also got a mentorship plan that includes two months in the discord so you'll get of course those two weekly group calls you might actually end up getting eight hours of group mentorship if you take action on the one-to-one -one plan on top of the groups eight hours of group mentorship you're going to get three five or ten hours of my one-to-one -one help depending on which option you go with and i'm also going to give you my course that's six hours long for you to fall back on for the rest of your life guys that's it from me today use the links down below and don't forget to support the channel by liking commenting and subscribing cheers I've got a whole bunch of educational content and over here on the website you can see loads of other people taking action recently. If you want to get educated, simply scroll underneath a video, click take action or link tree and click the option that you want to read more about or private message me on Twitter. Let's start off with the ebook. This is where you can take action on my ebook, teaches the exact strategy. Head over to the membership level if you want to become a Discord channel member where you have access to two weekly group mentorship calls or if you want to take action on my six hour long pre-recorded course, there's an offer here and you do get Discord chat for two months totally free. Here is my beginner one-to-one -one mentorship plan, which includes three hours of my one-to-one -one help, the course and two months free in the chat. And there are some other plans here for five or 10 hours of my one-to-one -one help. Use the links down below to private message me on Twitter or head straight to the website using one of these links to take action. Cheers.